Have you ever asked, why is the Jet 22 Raptor never on an aircraft carrier? Interesting to discuss. The world's most respected air superiority fighter still can't fly from an aircraft carrier. The American F-22 Raptor is widely touted as the most capable air superiority fighter on the planet. Let's see thanks to its combination of stealth, speed, and maneuverability. It makes sense then that Congress is pressuring the U.S. Navy to consider fielding a slightly different iteration of the Raptor for service aboard the Nimitz-class supercarrier. To make the F-22 suitable for carrier duty, Lockheed Martin had to incorporate several significant changes to the F-22's design. Aside from the usual changes that can be expected from a carrier-capable aircraft, things like a reinforced fuselage and additional tailhooks, the Navy variant of the F-22 will need to incorporate a variable sweep wing design similar to that used by the F-14 Tomcat. Existing Navy. This addition, perhaps more than any other, will be a real challenge for engineers to contend with. Broom wings were expensive to maintain early on, but incorporating the broom wing design into stealth aircraft may have been nearly impossible without sacrificing low observability. What makes the F-22 so special? The Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor was the world's first operational stealth fighter and ushered in a new era of fighter jets we commonly know today as the fifth generation. As the first aircraft in this new generation of fighter aircraft, most of what we usually think of as requirements for a fifth-generation fighter stem from the capabilities that the F-22 first delivered. The F-22 Raptor was the first fighter aircraft designed to emphasize stealth and low visibility from the start. While fourth-generation fighters such as the F-15 Eagle, F-16 Fighting Falcon, and F-A-18 Super Hornet all used some measure to reduce their radar signature, Stealth was an intrinsic part of the F-22's design. But it's not just about being sneaky. The F-22 can also fly at speeds exceeding Mach 2.25 and perform incredible acrobatic maneuvers. Thanks to its thrust vectoring capabilities, it can also maintain supersonic speeds without using its afterburner, which is one of the talents found in the F-22 that cannot be found in any other stealth fighter in the world. The only fifth-generation combat aircraft in service in the world are the American F-22 and F-35, the Russian Su-57, and the Chinese J-20. Some still argue that the F-23 could be a superior fighter. The F-23 is more stealthy and has a higher cruising speed. The F-22 appears capable of production ahead of time and is a less radical design. It's also capable of the thrust-to-fly vector maneuver that probably impressed everyone too many. Many also argued that lobbyists got it selected. Conclusion If you intend to use F-22 for use, probably not. If any plane could, it would be the F-35. First, it should be noted that measuring the best fighter solely on its ability to kill another battle massively makes things in favor of an air superiority-oriented aircraft only a small portion of any major air force is oriented toward that role. Most of the jets are there to hit the ground. Regardless, the F-22 has one major advantage over almost any other fighter, situational awareness. Any pilot will tell you that is by far the most important factor in getting to the top. The F-22 achieves this in two ways. One of them is stealth.